In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate Synthize's green screen tracking ability. In a shot like this, we'd like Synthize to use just the trackers on the green screen and uh, ignore any features that are on the actors uh, moving around in front of the screen. So to do that, we're going to bring up Synthize's uh, green screen control panel, which uh, automatically sets the uh, screen parameters when we start it up. Uh, we can just scrub through it a little bit, and it's actually pretty good. But uh, if we needed to, we could adjust the values uh, further here. Um, if some parts of the uh, shot required uh, some somewhat different settings. With that done, we're going to go and change the mode of the solver uh, and the tracking to accommodate this green screen, which has a very low amount of detail aside from the few spots. So we just use a different mode that uh, works better in the scenario. And then we fire up the full auto track sequence, which it's doing now. And in just a second, we're now we're doing the 3D solution. So we now have a basic 3D track. And you can see we have a point cloud as well as a camera path. So what we need to do now is just go and take a look at what we've got exactly. And if you look, there are actually several points that aren't actually on the green screen um, that are just kind of random features on the screen that are, have just enough contrast, but uh, you know to be trackable for a little while, but aren't really reliable features. So we're just going to go and, and scrub through those and uh, wipe, wipe them out. Now one other thing uh, you'll notice, actually here's one that's on the cat's ear. Um, it has a lot of the green screen around it, so things like this, very skinny protrusion sorts of things, uh, actors' hands often, uh, might get picked up with a tracker. So when we see something like that, we'll just delete it. The other sort of thing that can happen, if you look over here, over by the edge, here's a tracker, a feature that's been split across two different trackers. And what we can do is just combine those two back together to uh, just be a single tracker. And the same thing happened uh, over here, a different part of the shot. So what we'll do is the same thing, and just combine them back together. And after we do that, we want to go back over to the solver panel, say that we'd like to refine the track to accommodate that change in the input data, which takes just a split second. So after we've done that, we wind up with an overall track that we can export and use to uh, put our kitty cat in whatever uh, strange and wonderful environment we might like.